this is going oh this is going to be one last video before I go okay the title <laughs> okay um I have been I say abstinent but people tell me yes sell of it whatever the case is I have not had sex and it'll be two years on January 25th okay I got baptized two years ago on that day on that day I made a few promises to God and one of them that I really really kept because I hate to break promises when I or just you know telling him something that I want to do was not to have sex until I feel it's right until I feel like the person is worth it I'm telling you because when you're young oh my god especially when you're young a boy tell you pretty you be like girl I love him oh my god he told me he loved me. And y'all be like 16. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, and as you get older, you just learn the dating game. And honey, it's, it's, it's ruthless about you. You understand what I'm saying? The dating game is ruthless. It's ruthless and ruthless. Okay? So that was just something that I wanted to do. And I'm going to tell you, I'd rather be single you know, and wait until I find that right one rather than keep dating and dating and dating, adding numbers to exes, going through drama. Like, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not for me. And I'm the type of person, I be telling people, oh, honey, you do something. I mean, you, after you, I probably see you probably been dated for three years. And if I see you in the store, I'm going to pass you up. Like, I ain't never seen you before. I don't do drama. I don't do it. I don't do it you will become invisible to me so one thing that i'll figure will determine a man let me put that phrase there, a man from a boy okay will be if i tell him you know look we not gonna do nothing so i'm ready nigga whether that take two years or five years i'm not gonna do anything to you so i'm ready if they can accept that and they stick around and they respect it you know that's the kind of person i'm looking for but other than that yeah Okay, I'm not going to lie and say that I'm going to wait for marriage, but honey, it's been two whole years, and I have not been intimate with anyone. And it's so much, and you know, every year on December 1st, which is um, World AIDS Awareness Day, I go get tested, okay? I have been, I did that two years in a row, okay? And I will do it every year because it's better to know than not to know. Okay, I encourage everybody to do that. But let me tell you, even sitting in there, when you're going to get the test, it's like nerve-wracking. You're like, oh my gosh, Lord. Oh, please don't let me have this. Because, you know, it could take up to like eight years or something like that. Don't quote me on that. But it could take like eight years until, you know, you find out. And have I had unprotected sex before? Yes, I have. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and like, let me tell y'all the story. Like, when I went this time, this previous December 1st, I went... And the lady was like, well, when's your last day that you had sex? And, you know, I told her it's been, you know, so I must have been, it'll be two years in January. And she was like, I'm not going to test you. And I'm like, why? She's like, girl, you don't even need that. You know you don't got nothing. And I'm like, well, yeah, but, you know, it's just, you know, I don't know. You know, it could take up to eight years. So, anywho, she did not want to say it. She was like, I'll go ahead and, you know, do it. And, like, I got the response, you know, you get the results in, like, five minutes, rapid testing or something like that. Excuse my head, y'all. I know it's crazy. Anyway, I just want to encourage young people, you know, to not be so easy when it comes to your body. Know that you only have one life and that 10 minutes of pleasure could cost you your life. And that's all I'm saying to you guys. Because, honey, child, some of these men, boo boo. Okay, he might not even give you 10, baby. He might give you a minute and 15 seconds. You understand what I'm saying? And you didn't cop something you can't get rid of. Wrap it up. Wrap it on up. Wrap it on up. And ladies, let me tell y'all. Don't be letting a man be telling you, I can't feel it. Man. I feel different. I don't want to love. I don't want to with you. Man, why you tripping? You must don't love me. You don't want to put no condom on. All that? No. No. Now, unless that's your boo, maybe y'all plan to have kids or whatever. But still, you go get that food tested. That's what you do. You know, that's another thing. If he can't wait for you, if he don't want to go get tested for you, that's how you know if he bought something or if he just want the nan nan. There you go. And all you ladies out there who just want the ding ding, stop it. Okay? Your body is a temple. And I'm not going to go through all that. Okay? 
But I just wanted to let y'all know that, you know, January 15th will make my two years. But I haven't had any intercourse, any, anything with nobody. Okay. Um, and that is a goal, you know. And like I've been saying, you know, like do, and like I don't even date. I don't even take it there today. Like I've met some guys and just be like, it just be the same old thing. So I was like, do I want to start dating again or should I just chill out or whatever? I don't know. You know, should I, you know, go for three or five years, have a long, but you know, that's not for me to answer. I leave that up to him. You know, when he send me the right person, he'll send me the right person. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I have guys I talk to. And I'm talking to this one, but he finding a mug, but he, girl, I ain't got time him. You, and ladies, let me tell you something, another thing. I know I'm going on this video with five minutes and 50 seconds right now. Let me tell you something. When you be a man, you know if you know good or not. You know, and you decide. You decide. If you're gonna mess with that no good man or not, and I and I know that I've always now you have some that can put on this front. You may not know in the bottom, but some of these men, you just know. And, and fellas, some of these women, you know when you meet the person and you get to talk to them, you know if they for you or not, and if you want to be, if you want to make something with them. Anywho, I just encourage everybody if you are sexually active, and you are having sex, you just do it the safe way. Condoms are free, honey. You can go get them anywhere you too scared to go in the clinic baby where i live every tattoo shop has free condoms like they have them in a big old bowl that just like free condoms what take the whole bowl they free what they gonna say tell tell them you if you want to take the whole bowl you can say who's gonna check me boo okay because it's free i'm telling you get you some condoms you wrap it up you know Respect your bodies, okay? Men and women, respect your bodies. You know, but I'm going to go hard for my women because, baby, we make the world go round. You understand what I'm saying, baby? You better know your work. Anyway, that is <laughs> But, yeah, I just wanted to um, share that with you guys and to all my young people, all my young ladies. You know, sex is, girl, you got to be careful, okay? People are dying out here having sex. Great, how you die from having sex? <laughs> anyway, hope you all have a great weekend. Again, wrap it up. Be safe. I'm not telling you not to have sex for having many years because it's been tough for me. But, you know, do what you got to do. Keep yourself safe. You know, hey, the sitting in the pleasure can cause you a lifetime of pain. Thank you. But no, but no, see, I hope everybody has a good weekend. And, you know, again, be safe, you know, if you guys have any questions for me, anything like that, please just inbox me and I'll be happy to answer them for you. And all the other kind of stuff, you want to become celebrity or absent with yourself and you have questions, please send them to me. Okay? So, thank you for watching. I hope you comment, thumbs up, thumbs up that video, girl. And subscribe, baby. What you got to do? You know what I'm saying? Come back and watch this video, baby, because I got to start threatening y'all again, because y'all got to come back and watch the video. Anywho. Bye.